second lap. So you guys, winners of the Byron Bay Blues Fest busking competition. That must have been fun. Tell us about that experience. It was a little bit scary, but yeah. super yeah. fun. Yeah. We sort, we, sort of, we sort of went in like, I don't know, we, we made ourselves go in and go like, if we win, we win, but if we lose, our main kind of, I guess, ideology was that the day after you still wake up and we're still going to do music. You don't. Mm. And the rest of our band is very, very competitive. We're <laughs> so it ended up just being a bonus when. Yeah, yeah, mm. it was great though. And another bonus to be able to actually get up on stage today and just be loud. How'd that go? Oh. Tell us about that experience. Yeah. It's pretty like <laughs> unreal. I think I'm still kind of processing that. <laughs> it's the biggest show we've ever done. I think um, a few years ago when we started, um, we went and we hired a, a life coach, funny enough, and we got two great things out of that, was one that we started doing a band day together, um, where we spent like a whole day doing, doing Budded, and the other thing that Jackson was saying before is that we like manifested playing on a stage together, a big stage. Yeah. Well she told us to like, what was your dream, where's your like next big goal kind of thing, and we both were unified in that it was like just looking at each other smiling on, on a huge stage somewhere and it happened today and that it was happened. like <laughs> I guess that was it so we have those moments on stage where you're just going yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that was great disbelief mm. and so you're a general you've obviously what's your before you came in being the blues first and what did you think about the first just tell us a little bit about being back in a, in a festival and the vibe you've been getting, been getting out there? Oh, it's, I think I've said to like a, the last five people I've talked to, I've been coming for years, and obviously not the last couple of years, but always had an epic time and been watching artists even just go backstage and just being like, holy shit, that's just the classic like fandom thing of being like, that'd be wild to do that one day. And then today to be walking through there, seeing other people that you respect and it's yeah, surreal. It's kind of surreal. It's yeah. nice to have everyone buzzing again, you know? We were, yeah. It's been so long with the pandemic, but like you're walking around and people are moving, they're laughing, they're smiling, they're dancing, there's like people on stilts, people getting painted. It's like, yes, we're back. Yeah. It's great. It's mm -hmm. so exciting. You'll look back at this interview in like 20 years' time and go, I remember those brand dog people and look how fresh and excited they were. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. We walk in and yeah. we're like, we don't even talk to your grand daughter. We're on main stage at one, fuck off. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Never. That's funny, no. Never. We won't forget the roots. Yeah. Can you play us a little tune? We'll play a little tune, You are yeah. buskers, so... <laughs> That's it. Let's do it. <laughs> this is Lucid. <laughs> Give you 
Thanks for having us.